I greet you in the name of our soon returning king. I have come your way once again to continue with a series, Finish the Race. This is the last part, Finish the Race, part four. The first guideline we looked at was that have a purpose for running. The second one, prepare for the race. The third guideline was lay aside all hindrances. The fourth guideline we looked at was focus on Jesus Christ. And the last but one guideline we looked at previously was when you fall, do not give up, come back to the race. The sixth guideline was let's give each other a helping hand as we run the race together. For the seventh guideline, finish the race regardless. Giving up is not an option in running the Christian race. Don't just start the race, but make up your mind that come what may, I'm going to get eternal life. I'm going to enter into the kingdom of heaven. A story is told of John Stephen Aquari from Tanzania. He represented his country in a 5,000 meters race in an Olympic game. Unfortunately, he had a problem with his leg, so could not run as fast as he could. He was actually moving slowly. But he determined to finish the race, so he moved slowly for hours. Most of the spectators left the stadium because he was running too slow for their liking. But he did it slowly until he also crossed the finishing line after a long time. And when he was asked why he did that, his answer was, my country did not send me 5,000 miles away to start the race. They sent me 5,000 miles away to finish it. Beloved, let us, like Aquari, endeavor to finish the race no matter what. Don't get stuck on your way. If you are falling, stand up. If you need an encouragement, seek a friend to help you in prayer. Paul, who said he had disciplined his body, and brought it into subjection at a point in life, said this in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. He says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearance. Paul could boldly say that he had finished the race. Can we also say that? You know what? Paul was so determined to spread the gospel. He had three missionary journeys moving from Antioch to southern Galatia, in towns like uh, Lystra, Iconium, Pisidia, to spread the good news and strengthen them. He wrote 13 books in the New Testament. At a point in time when he was ambushed for spreading the gospel and was torn to death, he woke up and asked, where is the city I was going? Initially, I thought they needed Christ, but now I know they need Christ most. And he went to preach. 
for them to persecute me more. No longer he could say that. When it was nearly, and when Nero was about to cut his head for the gospel he preaches, he says, I have fought the good fight. I'm waiting for the eternal life that Jesus has promised me. Can we also say that? Friends, finish the race regardless because I have not seen, nor hear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. One day we go to heaven and when we try to recall our pains, our sufferings, and our difficulties, and we see the goodies in heaven, we see ourselves walking on the streets of gold. We find ourselves in a city where there is no hospital because there is no sickness, there is no sorrow, there is no pain. When we try to recall our sufferings, we say heaven is so cheap. Beloved, it will not do you anything. Try to finish the race. Don't drop out. Some of you, listen to me, have stopped believing in Christ. Have stopped going to church. Have stopped reading your Bible because of little things. But one day, when, when you find yourself outside the city, after God has awakened the dead in Christ, and they have been caught together with the living saints, whose bodies will be changed in a moment, and have gone to celebrate thousand years in heaven, and have come back with a new heaven and a new earth. If you find yourself outside the city, you will cry. You will gnash your teeth. You will say, I used to be a Christian. I used to believe in Jesus. But I could not finish the race. May it not be said about you that you were once in a race, but you could not finish. Finish the race. Let us finish the race with all our strength and all our heart. And we will never regret. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Shall we pray? Dear Lord, we thank you for everything you've done for us. We thank you for admonishing us to finish the race regardless. Help us to do it with all our heart and our strength. In Jesus' name, Amen. Here comes the trumpet and the